Okay, so let's take a look at question number seven, which is asking us to figure out the value of C, which is the n term on this trinomial. Okay, and what we're looking to see is, can we make this expression a perfect square trinomial? So we just need to remember what a perfect square trinomial um, comes out of, or what it's actually supposed to represent. So if we take two binomials, so I'm just gonna write down an example here x plus 4 and we multiply it by itself x plus 4 again. If we expand this using FOIL we get x squared plus 4x plus 4x plus 16. So we can simplify that further into x squared is equal to um, is equal to x squared plus 8x plus 16. So this trinomial x squared plus 8x plus 16 is a perfect square trinomial because it can be factored into the product of two of the same um, two of the same expressions in this case x plus 4. So what we want to know <clears throat> is how do we create a perfect square trinomial by um, forcing a particular value of c. So what you have to look at here is how do you work backwards from an expression like this? Okay, well, it's all related to this middle term here. So the rule for this, and I'm just going to put it on the bottom here, is that you would first step when you are looking to complete the square, which is what we're trying to do here, is you take the middle term, which in this case is plus 8, and you divide it by 2. Okay, and the reason we divide it by 2 is because if you look in the previous step above here, where we have 4x plus 4x, we're essentially doubling the collection of that middle term. Okay, so the first step is we divide by 2 and that gives us plus 4. And then the second step is we take that answer plus 4 and we square it and that gives us 16 and that 16 is equal to what that last term is. Okay, so if we apply that rule here, what value of c that we can use, we take our first step, we take which is negative 16, we divide that by 2 which gives us negative 8. And then we take our second step, which is negative 8, and we square that, which gives us 64. Okay, so therefore the answer, C, is equal to 64, is the number that we would need in order to create a perfect um, square trinomial out of that expression. So the same applies for uh, question B when we look at it. Um, I'll just kind of put the steps in place here and then you can kind of finish this off. You take the middle term, which is plus 7, and we divide that by 2. Okay, and then we're going to get an answer. And then you take that answer, whatever you have there, and you square it, and that's going to be equal to the answer here, which we put, is, put in for the letter C. Now, you have to just notice that in some cases it'll be a, an integer, Okay, or a whole number, and in other cases it might not be, it could be a fraction. So you just have to kind of carry the math through and, um, and take, go through the steps. All right, so that's how you would approach a question like number seven.